Hello there, and welcome into the ShopFix channel, a community joined together for the love of woodworking. In this episode of ShopFix, we're going to be covering how to make a dowel joint, and I'll be covering all the steps associated with dowel joinery. In this video as an example, I'm going to be using dowel joints to support the shelves of the shop cabinet. I really hope you enjoy this video, and if you haven't subscribed to the ShopFix channel, consider subscribing today. The first most critical step of making a perfect dowel joint is to make sure that the pieces that you want to join together are perfectly aligned. And that means measuring the exact location of the boards to make sure that they're square and they fit exactly as you plan before you clamp or do anything with the dowel joint. This particular cabinet is made out of cherry wood and I'm going to be using it as a shop cabinet right behind my table saw stand and I'm really excited for it. After you have the pieces that you plan to join together with the dowel joint all aligned and fitting properly, making sure that you measure twice to make sure that they're all exactly how you want them, you can begin to clamp them up. Now you can use any clamps that you think would be perfect for your application. The overall goal with this step is to get your boards that you plan to join together with the dowel joint clamped up with enough pressure to when you drill the hole for the dowel that the boards don't misalign. Now another important thing that you have to keep in mind is that when clamping the boards up that you want to join with the dowel joint, you can't place a clamp over the area in which the dowel joint is going to be located because you're going to have to have that as your working area. After you have these boards all clamped together, you can take a carpenter square and make a line and measure exactly where your dowels are going to be located. Next, you'll want to locate the drill bit that matches the width of your dowel. You'll want to use some tape on your drill bit to indicate the depth in which you want that drill bit to sink into the wood. This way, you get an accurate drill and if you're doing multiple dowel joints, they'll all be the exact same depth. Measuring a half inch over the overall depth in which we just drilled, we're going to be cutting this dowel rod out on the bandsaw, which is one of the best ways to cut out dowel rods in my opinion. After applying wood glue to the outside of the dowel rod we just cut out on the bandsaw, I can place it into the hole and begin hammering it in. Afterwards, we'll want to clean up the glue squeeze out with a dry rag. Let's continue by taking a flush cut saw to trim the ends of these dowels. After we have all these boards securely clamped with our bar clamps, we'll go ahead and measure out where our dowel joints are going to be. These are the supplies that have been used for this dowel joinery technique. Now let's drill a hole to the depth indicated by the tape. Make sure that through this entire process, that the boards remain clamped and securely mounted together until the glue dries after you place the dowel rods in. Be sure not to over apply the wood glue here, otherwise you'll get an extreme amount of squeeze out.
in my opinion, the dowel joints, like the ones created in this video, are very aesthetically pleasing and provide a very strong joint for the wood. If you have any questions about dowel joinery that I haven't answered in this tutorial video, please leave me a comment below. Here's the overall look of the shop cabinet after applying some boiled linseed oil.